So how do we remove things from our heap? Which element do we remove? There's only one element that we remove from a heap, and that's the root, right? We remove the root. We always remove the root. So in this case, we would take the 25. If we're going to remove it, we take away the 25. Let's take away the 25. Now we've got a hole. Now what do we do with the hole? So once we've taken away the root, we've got a hole. And now we have to fill it with the last thing in our heap. Okay? So we take the 11 and we put it up. We put it up in our root position. And then what do we do? We check and see, is it smaller than the children? And if it's smaller than the children, we have to do a swap. And in this case, it is. And so we swap with the larger of the two children. Yeah? So in this case, we would take the 11 and swap it with the 22. And then we check and see, is, the, is this smaller? It is. So we take the 11 and we swap it with the 19. Okay, and then we're done. So we take the last element, we put it in that root position, and then we trickle down. And our stopping conditions when we trickle down are either that we get to an element where if we go to look at its children, so we're at 5, so if we go to the children, so 2 times the parent plus 1 would be 11, 2 times parent plus 2 would be 12. 11 and 12 are larger than any element in our array, right? So they're larger than last position. So that's one of our stopping positions. But we also need to take care because we may end up with a position w where we have one element, let's say the left child here, um, which was, is going to be an 8. And so now we have to compare to just the left, but not the right. So in this case, we can't just find the two children and compare its two children because it only has one child. So when we do the remove, we need to be cognizant of the situation where we only have one child here. So our remove method from our heap starts off by taking the value of the thing that's at the root, so let's say e temp equals array zero. So we've just remembered that object, and we're going to return that when we're done with the remove. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is a little bit of sleight of hand. And I'll explain why in a few minutes. But what I'm going to do when I remove, so if I'm going to remove this 22 here, I'm going to remove the 22. I'm going to swap it, in this case, with my 8. I'm going to keep that 22 in the array, but I'm going to decrement my last position counter so that I don't consider that as part of the array. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap, and I'm going to swap position 0 with last position. And as I do that, I decrement my last position counter. Notice the difference in the, the previous example in the add method. I incremented last position and then used it. This time, I use last position and then decrement it. And I'll explain why we do that in, a, in just a second. So now I've swapped it. And now what I've got to do is I've got to trickle down. And I'm going to have a recursive trickle down method that's just going to take an integer that tells me where to start. And of course, initially, I start at the root position, at position 0. And then finally, I just return TMP. Let's make this an E. Now I can return TMP. 
Let's take a look at our trickle down method. And I've got that couple of little edge cases that I mentioned that I need to take care of. And I'm going to take care of them first. Okay. So let's have a trickle down method, trickle down, that takes a position, and that's going to be the parent. Okay. So it's going to be my parent node. And I'm going to, first of all, figure out where my two children are. It's always good to know where your kids are. They're probably out running around late. So our left child is two times the parent plus one. And our right child is two times the parent plus two. So let's take care of those edge cases. So the first edge case is if left is last position. If left is the same as the last position, and we'll do comparable E array dot parent. Sorry, not dot parent, a position parent compared to array left. So if our parent is less than our child, so this will be less than zero, then we're going to swap parent and left, and we're going to get out of there. Okay. We do the same thing with the right child. So if right is equal to last position, and this time I'm just going to cheat and use shorthand notation here. So if array parent is less than array right, then we're going to swap parent and right, and we're going to get out of there. Um, you don't need an else here. This is an if. If this is true, we return. So we're done. So we never get to this. Okay. So the only time we're at this if statement is if this is false. So by default, it's an else if. And then we also need to check, for example, if we're here at, at number 6, where 2 times 6 plus 1 is 13, 2 times 6 plus 2 is 14. That's way beyond the end of our position. So if left is greater than or equal to last position, or right is greater than or equal to last position, then we're already done. We don't need to do anything. We're at the end where we can get out of there. And then finally, now we're just at the case of an internal node where we need to say, is what we're looking at is our parent smaller than our children? If it is, we're going to swap them. What we need to do first is we need to find out which is our left child bigger than our right child, right? Because that's what we're going to swap. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say, if our left child is bigger than our right child, then um, we'll use that. I'm, I'm going to just use regular comparisons and not comparables for this. If array left is bigger than array right, and array parent is less than array left, then we're going to swap parent and left, and we're going to do a trickle up. Sorry, a trickle down on left.
because we're going down. Here we can use an else if array parent is less than array right. Doesn't actually matter if you have an, an else there. Then we're going to swap these two. So we swap parent and right. And we trickle down right. Just about made it on the screen. 